one fusion strike energy i pr oh two fusion strike energy okay that's actually a really big deal um and then on gustavo's side prize i think gustavo plays two shady dealings in teleon though i'm actually not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure let's see who's going first um i feel like maybe the mew player is always going first i feel like gustavo is probably not choosing to go first to be honest we'll see though All right, so Gustavo is going first. I don't know who chose who chose what, but we got a couple Pokemon search cards here for Gustavo and the energy search. So not completely dead to a donk or anything. Um, <clears throat> Robin said second MU matchups for his. Yeah, I mean it seems like in general going second, just trying to get off, keep calling, just get Pokemon in place, so you don't get run over is a, a pretty big deal. Um, so I would I would assume. Just in general, wouldn't be the way to go. You know, Gustavo tries to set up here as well. Gustavo could actually set up. I don't know if you want to do that though. The Moltres V. You could energy search here, quick ball for Moltres V. That doesn't seem very good though, to be honest. It's like I was like thinking about it, you can do it, and the more I thought about it, the worse it got. Energy search. There's the quick ball of the energy though. I would assume to just grab another Sobble. Oh, no, go for the Lax actually. That's, that makes sense. And then has a level ball in the hand as well. You can level ball for another Sabo retreat. Um, and then um, lax for some cards. You'll appreciate the primes up there. Abe. No idea how, what the rest of your name. <laughs> I don't know how to say the rest of your name. Appreciate that though, Abe. Welcome to the Rat Pack. We're all the Graham Crackers, but we got plenty of uh, shredded cheese. All right, so solid start here from Gustavo for sure. There's the escape up in the hand though for uh, Mateus. Matthias. So can get a Sobble KO potentially on this first turn. Does have two Fusion Strike Energy Prize, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher than normal. But it's still possible. Definitely want to the first thing Matthias should have done there was play the escape rope though. You want to attack with Mew. You want a psychic leap here. So Matthias has already messed that up. The first thing they should have done is literally just play the escape rope. Like, literally draw for turn and play escape rope. Uh, I guess maybe... I don't know. I guess, like, you then you could get... Moltres V'd? I think you're fine with that, to be honest. I think you just do it. Yeah, I think the first thing... I still think the first thing Mateus should have done is just play the... Uh, play the... Um, play the escape rope. You just want to Psychic Leap KO Sobble. You want to stay in the active too. You're not trying to go back to the deck. It's going to be hard to get off the first attack <clears throat> as well. Killing the Daddy Lax is just annoying. And you just don't want the uh, Meloid in your active. See, now they're doing the retreat. So, like, li literally, it's just a mistake because now Mateus just can't retreat. Like, Mateus did the exact same play I said they should do, but now they just can't retreat their Mew. But if they did what I said they should do, they could retreat their Mew. So. Uh, Mateus also has the, the basic stake, so actually it won't be that bad. Just set up the, the play, probably, actually. Should check the cram first. Oh, no, that's a Rotom photo. I thought they just drew that off Genesect. <clears throat> it is late. <clears throat> yeah, I thought they just drew those cards off Genesect. It has a, has a battle VIP pass, so now they can get they can get the full bench this turn. Plus one Genesect, plus one Mew, probably. early it's been a long day mellow three uv max is not great the fall crystal gets the basic psychic though and then you just say uh what's called away i'm gonna check in to see how likely it is you can attack with the deck before the deck search no but they're always playing out their hand there anyways no you're always going for the attack it doesn't matter how likely it is you're trying to knock out the sobble with psychic leap it just like doesn't matter doesn't matter how likely it is. You're you're trying to knock out a Sabo with Psychic Leap. That's the way this matchup goes. You're just, you're, that's what you're just trying to do. You're trying to knock out Sabo with Psychic Leap.
All right, first Genesect here. Oof. Pretty ugly. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball with a pumpkin and the uh, tablet, though. Maybe the Mew VMAX, depending on how many. I don't know how many uh, Mew VMAX Mateus plays, but could get rid of a, a Mew VMAX instead, but it's not that bad here. Get rid of tablets. Tablets aren't that important in this matchup. Sometimes you want the option to be a psychic leap certain things, so you don't want to lose all of them, but not a huge deal. Another roadie phone coming down. Still looking for that sparkle. Three, four, five. Does not see it. Could put a switch on top. Could also just put a scoop of net on top and then scoop up net, reset the Meloetta. I almost think I like that better because the switch is going to be better later on in the game. More versatile. The uh, tablet looks bad. I would go with the net here, I think. Goes with the tablet on top, though. So plans to probably burn the tablet off the draw, I guess, and then have the option of the other two still. My second Genesect here for four. As the Sparkle. Okay, drew the Sparkle and has some options past that as well. So here comes the Sparkle. Probably going to target the... Should target the Meloetta and the Mew. Yep. Nice. I think it's the first time we've actually seen Mateus go out of the way to use the Psychic Leap. So instead of going with Meloetta in situations where they should be going for Psychic Leap. So that's good to see. Has a leap KO and probably should keep the Mew in the active. I don't think there's any reason to send it back to the deck. I think you should have, there's more benefit from keeping it out in the active right now. So should probably see that here from uh, Mateus. Just leave it out there. Last chance like for what? Plus one or two? Just one. That's fine. we go leap we've got the sobble send up here from gustavo so maybe he's gonna go into a keep calling here yeah it might just be a keep calling here from from uh gustavo oh that hand is trash not a good hand double ursh might have that might be a research though so maybe he's just gonna research this turn I don't think you're, whoa hold on hold on hold on no you know i don't think they're doing a whole ton with that hand there yeah like three urge pieces in that hand so not a whole ton of options he's finding the drizzle though curious to see what gustavo grabs off that mm, looking up the a Moltres now, so might just use like Sonya for two energy and put Moltres in play with it to get that set up. Have that option for the Clara from there. I have the energy with Is that the mat? Is there, an, there is two energy in the discard pile. So Sonya for two basics. Okay. I don't think the Moltres is making its way to the active here, though. Moltres plus Crobat. Okay. I guess with the choice belt, it would take the knockout on the Mew here, actually. So maybe maybe Gustavo can get off the... Maybe Gustavo has the choice belt in the, in the hand. I think Gustavo does play the choice belt. So we need net plus energy. Uh, building up as a threat on the bench isn't terrible either. Just to have. Oh, there's the choice belt. There's the net as well. So it just needs an energy. Not going to commit the net yet. For three, do they get the energy? I think it's unlikely to get here. They could still get it though. That's a lot of two prize Pokemon in play now. All of a sudden committed by Gustavo. 
Took all the urge probably for the Sabo. He has the net. He didn't want to commit the... I guess if you commit the net before the energy, though, you have the Drizzle anyway, so you're drawing the same amount of cards. That doesn't make any sense to commit it first. If they get the energy, though, is a question. This would be a big play if they have it. No, Nanta Snorlax does not have it. Hmm. So now I'm pretty sure if Mateus, if Mateus can just set up the price rate in their favor now. Go boss KO Urshifu. Boss KO Crobat. Um, new VMAX comes down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mateus can just set up the price rate in their favor now. Does need some bosses though. Or actually could just knock out the active and then go boss boss after that, to be honest. You don't actually need the bosses yet. Dabbles are just being slung and flung. Another switch, no boss. You don't need the boss here, though. You could just... Uh, we actually could psychic leap back to the deck. That's a little bit... I don't love that play, but you could just go with a Max Miracle, maybe. Switch back into the MuV Max. That's like for one. It is a Rotom Phone. There's the boss go for the boss play here i think you probably do go for the boss play here the question is what do you boss ko i would assume i it feels like you want to go for the crowbat but you can also go after the Moltres. to be honest actually maybe the Moltres is the best target here because then i guess you can get killed by Moltres v but then there's a two prizer in the active from them for you so i feel like almost going after their Moltres gives you the and if they whiff a knockout for the turn then you can kind of you have a turn to kind of just chill yeah, I like this. I like this play from Mateus here, chasing the Moltres. Hopefully, used Max Miracle and not Techno Blast there. Got a Fusion Strike energy off the prize card, which is a big deal. So you get that KO. Your boss, boss away. Your hand is really clogged here as Mateus, though. Your hand is really just trash. Um, so you need to start moving that along at some point, hopefully find a way to move it along but you're in a pretty good spot here for sure yeah and because the, the, the baby Maltrace doesn't ko you anymore they could you could get ko'd by Maltrace v oh i think gustavo thought they were actually had the ko with the Maltrace there and then realized that not enough prize cards have been drawn i think gustavo just asked to be able to take that back there and then had had already committed to it yeah, not good for Gustavo. As an escape rope, but then you can just send up a Genesect here as Mateus. So it's like fine. What actually, Mateus doesn't have many switch cards left. Which is funny actually here for the situation. Mateus has like no, might, maybe no switch cards left. I think they played all their switch cards. Yeah, I think Gustavo thought they were further ahead in the prize trade than they actually were there. And was like, okay, now I just go KO you with Maltrace. Yeah, there's the escape rope. This could be an awkward send up here for Mateus. Ooh, what do you send up? Oh, goes with the Meloetta. Now you're really reliant on getting boss next turn. I think Gustavo's happy to see this. Like, oh, I can draw a prize card this turn. Because if they send up Genesect, you're just not drawing a prize card. And yeah, Mateus might have... No, no, no. They played the rope off the rip. Mateus has added switch cards. Mateus plays three switch cards. They're down two switch and a rope. Yeah, Gustavo was definitely excited to see that Meloetta. I think they're like, oh, shoot, I can get a prize card this turn? Let's get it. I think initially they were like, there's no way I get a prize card here. There's a knockout. Got the other uh, Moltres off the prize cards there as well, which could be a big deal. Can we see the boss? That's a big top deck there in the Kramomatic. That's the heads as well. So that's going to be a boss up on that um probably the urshifu to be honest because you don't want to get some random sh you don't want some shenanigans happening you probably want to kill the urshifu well urshifu is easier to kill later on though how many dte at least uh i think both are left i think both these are left there's at least one in the deck i see there so that's all you need at this point has two boss left as well i believe we have to go boss knockout, boss knockout. The hand is still looking pretty cloggy, though. 
Clap's favorite. Yeah, probably, I don't know, I see, I, Urshifu is easy to KO, maybe, I don't know, I don't think it really matters which one you boss KO, to be honest, overall. I don't think it matters at all. As if you bench two Mew V, if Gustavo plays Sight and Passimian, Gustavo could KO both Mew Vs. Hmm. Mateus attached to the wrong Mew V there, should have attached to the one that can evolve this turn. As the boss, I mean, KO and the Urshifu, like, Reduces shenanigans, but the Urshifu is like easier to KO later on. Shouldn't matter too much overall. Ball Meloetta, sounds good. Fail. <clears throat> Choice belt to the bench Mew, I guess. But should have attached the energy to the Mew that can actually evolve. That's definitely a mistake there from Mateus. Not a huge one because they do have the DT left, but it could actually matter to be honest. Uh, I think they still have the training court as well. So if the active Mew goes down, then they can training court for the basic psychic. I think Mateus plays the training court. They might just play the basic psychic though, but I'm pretty sure they play a training court. I hope uh, Mateus doesn't get a rude awakening here when they realize they can't evolve that Mew. Jammer on the active, I guess. Just get out of play. Probably don't know Gustavo's full 60, so it could have some impact. Okay, they know they can't evolve it. Because <laughs> they didn't even try to. Technoblast knockout. So yeah, definitely a mistake that from Mateus. Could have evolved the other Mew-V, but now has to hold it for this one. Two prize cards. Get the Fusion Strike energy. I don't think they have the boss in the hand yet, but... I think they do have the boss in the hand. No, do they? Actually, I'm not... Uh, yeah, they do. They have game in hand. All right. Pretty sure Gustavo has... Actually, if Gustavo has Passimi in sight... No, it doesn't do it. There's, Gustavo has five prize cards left. Never mind. But actually, no, if Gustavo can KO both Mew Vs off the bench, then actually Mateus can't. It doesn't look like that's going to be the way it goes here. Mateus actually wouldn't be able to retreat and attack. Um. <clears throat> oh, the jammer does shut off the sight. Yeah, never mind. Well, actually, if Gustavo. No, nah, there's no there's no out. There's nothing. I'm trying to come up with something, but there's nothing. I was just a research here from Gustavo. So yeah, this one is over. Game one goes to uh, Mateus with the Mew. So it definitely would be reasonable for Mateus to show the flash the combo. Oh, line it up. He's going to leak it. He's thinking about leaking it. Do you want to save the time? Do you want to let the time run? I mean, you could also start your turn as Mateus and just play through all of your actions as well. Because less time actually overall does favor you. So to be honest, the correct way to play this as Mateus is to not show your opponent you have game until you literally have to. You can even tilt him a little bit and make sure they know that the boss came out of the uh, the card you didn't draw off your Genesex, to be honest. I'm with the good old tilt room. Because the less time there is for game three, if it gets to game three, the better it is for Mateus. Because Gustavo's playing the slower deck, and Mew has like more control in the early game. There's a knockout, so it's, it is best for Mateus to kind of stall here, to be honest. Yeah, but Mateus plays it out immediately. Mateus should have actually ran through all the actions there, to be honest. But your issue is fine. Um, it was definitely interesting play from Gustavo I wouldn't 100% say it was correct I don't know what I would have done in the situation personally but I wouldn't commit to saying it was correct for sure it definitely like lined stuff up pretty well for Mateus but if you get that KO there with Gustavo you are in a pretty good spot I think your opponent's a legitimate strategy I mean you may as well do it right you know like as the more time that burn is better for you so you may as well mess with your opponent a little bit if it tells him it tells him if it doesn't it doesn't matter right you still burn the time to uh, a strategic advantage, right? Stalling. I didn't say stalling. I didn't say to slow play. I just said to just take game actions. There's, there's nothing wrong with taking game actions. Your opponent, your, then your opponent, nor the judges can tell you you have game in hand. That's not how it works. Oh shoot.
So promoting BM? No, I'm saying using burning the clock to a strategic advantage. Just take your actions. Like you can literally play as you could Mateus could have played super fast there. Like you're not trying to you're not playing slow, you're just playing the game. I'm not saying to slow play. I'm just saying to take actions. Go through all your Genesec draws, and then at the end of your turn, play your boss. Okay, so Gustavo chose to go first here. Energy search. Gustavo doesn't... I from Just from Gustavo's body language, I think Gustavo might just have Sable here. I'm going to go ahead and make that prediction right now. Let's see if Gustavo has any extra to go with. Oh, I see a level ball. Gustavo's chilling. Double VIP pass in Mateus's hand. Oh, double fusion strike energy as well, though. And the bird, bro. Okay, so it's not that great. Actually, Gustavo has literally the exact same start they had in the first game. This is literally Gustavo's exact same turn, except it was a dark energy instead of a fighting energy, I think. Or something like that. VIP pass. Some Jennies, some Muse. Putting down the Orcorio sucks, so you really just don't want to do that. This is like an awkward. This is like a. It's like it's like the double battle VIP pass is good, but everything else about this draw kind of sucks to be honest. Like it's like it's like some is good, uh, some is bad. Yeah, some good, some bad. Some up, some down. The squad out there. All right, all right, chill out, chill out. See if that. I mean, I guess the Oracorium might just have to make its way to the bench here to be honest. Is there no fusion strike energy in the deck? One was prized, right? So there should be one in there. So we're looking for another psychic lead play, to be honest. Oh, actually, in this one, you because the Snorax is in the active, you're not guaranteed the escape rope. You're probably attacking with Melowita. Yeah, so you maybe just stack that on Melee. If you get it, then you can KO. You don't need the escape rope to get the KO, but you do want to KO off the bench here, for sure. Yeah, maybe just putting Oracorio down though. That feels so bad though. Nah, that's scary. I wouldn't put Oracorio down here. That's like so bad. I like the rest of your draws throughout the game. I also don't like this attachment either. Why is the choice spell on the Genesect? I guess if you Psychic Leap, it goes back to the deck, but I, but you might need that to like boss KO a Moltres or something. Not that Elsa Sparkle, but now you can't get the knockout unless unless Mateus is content with not getting the KO here. Mateus might be content with not getting the KO unless it's on a Sobble. I think you just want the knockout here. As uh, Mateus, I think you just want the KO. See how this plays out here, though, for Mateus. I think he should have just gone for the KO with the Meloetta. I don't know. I kind of just want a prize card, but Mateus has other plans. We'll see how it works out. Next Genesect for one? Or do you pinch the Oracorio? Ugh. Feel sketch. Genesect for one into the Nazi escape rope. Quick ball. Quick ball away, Oracorio. Genesect again for three. I like that. Get another item card. Item card. With the cram, get the escape rope, escape rope. It's like leap a, K a Sobble turn one again. Is he his net? That's true. They do have the net, so it's not as bad. But um, they do have the net, so it's not as bad. Um, but you have to find the net. Whereas if you find a quick ball or an ultra ball, that just becomes another Genesect. So I don't, I don't think I like benching the Oracorio because you don't know when you're gonna find that net. So you're gonna be behind like how many Genesect draws, right? Two, three. That could be bad. All right, three more. Oh, dude, the rope is the first card. What an insane draw. That is just ridiculous. Goodbye, Bobble. You snitch. Get him out of here. Cook him up. Leave him away. Stay active. That is an absurd. Holy moly. Not sure what the prize card draw was there. 
An Ultra Ball as well to help thin out the hand on the next turn. That was a good draw. All right. What does Gustavo got? Is it also as equally as rough a hand as the last time? Last time? Yeah, and it's fine for Mateus to play into the baby. The baby bird plus what's it called play just never happens. So you don't, you're not really going to try and play around that. No way. Does Gustavo have it again? Yo, chill out, Gustavo. No shot. Gustavo just has the play again. Maybe even just has it this time. This is ridiculous. I don't even know if Gustavo plays Hoopa, to be honest. I haven't seen the Hoopa from Gustavo yet, I don't think. Maybe, maybe, maybe we have seen it. I'm in the chat will probably confirm. Gustavo just has the bird play. Holy moly. This time just has everything. Jeez, man. No Hoopa? Insane. All right. Big play from Matthias. Responded to by big play from Gustavo. Goodbye. Yeah, now Gustavo's in a really good spot. Gustavo's in a really, really good spot. Need to see a... Sheesh. Um, need to see a GTE from Matthias, but I guess there it is. KO on the, the bird, and then you want to Psychic Leap into a Genesect on the next turn. The problem with this current situation is it's hard for Mateus. I guess, no, Mateus can attach the Fusion Strike Energy next turn to the Meloetta. So you can go, like, DT active. Ugh, but then you need a switch to reset. But you have two switches left in the deck. You can get the switch reset here. You could even do the net reset as well before you attach to the Meloetta. Three bosses there. Boss Kyo Sabo doesn't actually seem terrible here. But it's probably incorrect. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't I don't hate the idea of it though. I don't even know what we're getting off cram here. This almost like wants to be a switch card, it feels like. I feel like this wants to be a switch for the next turn. Because you're gonna techno blast this turn, you want to switch, reset, psychic leap KO. Set up a Genesect after that. And then you want to switch for that as well. I just want snitches all the time. Goes for a tablet. That might be for the the Reset on the next turn. Theoretically, I guess. But I think he wanted to switch this turn, to be honest. I don't know. Or the scoop net reset, whatever. Maybe the scoop net reset first so that we can attach to it. What's it called? Like playing tablet here doesn't make any sense, so. So I almost just like didn't play in the cram, but drawing more cards is always good as well. But I think I would have grabbed a switch here if I was. Mateus, so I'm gonna grab the switch or the scoop of net. One of the two. Discarding all the discard cards. Gotta be careful with this sometimes. Sometimes your hand is your hands will just start to brick up because you discard all your discard cards with your discard cards. Last one though. Yeah, see now the hands are to brick up. I think Mateus could just play it slower to be honest. There we go, Techno Blast. Down to four. One switch is prized as well, but they have the net and a switch left, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Your rat pack hat just arrives. Nah, Pokemon skills, it gives you at least a plus five. It's at least a plus five to Pokemon skills. Two to dexterity, seven to intelligence. Four to hand reading. Five to deck building skills. Went with the Clara here from Gustavo, but Gustavo can't take a KO this turn. Maybe just prepping for the next turn. Like you could swing with Maltrace here, but it's like a pretty weak to swing with Maltrace here. Let's see what they do though. Ooh, the rope. Wait, that's fine. You just send a Genesect here. This actually might even just help Matthias overall. Now you can DT retreat if you really want to. Maybe just prepping the Clara here from Gustavo. I wonder if Gustavo's actually gonna bench the Maltrace here. And Chinip, I don't think they're gonna use it. Ooh, that Sobble's getting beefy. He's got some he's got some choices, some options. Sobble's looking nice. Pow pad as well to recover Clara and That's it. If Matthias can get the boss. If Matthias can get the boss psychic leap play on that 
Moltres, that'd be pretty insane. But I don't think Matthias is going to be able to do that. I think he's going to have to settle for, like, boss, psychic leap of Sable. Attach fusion strike energy to Meloetta. And then send up a Genesect afterwards. I think. Oh, nope. Just going after the bird. Doesn't have to psychic leap as well, though. Doesn't have to psychic leap. Could just try and bonk it. Ooh, attaches to the... No, but I guess Gustavo's already have four prize cards, actually. It makes sense to attach to the Mew, actually. Dude, they just... Ri Matthias need, get, want, want, need switch? Get switch, bro. Every time. Excuse me. Um... Okay, can move that cram in the hand along. Has all of their boss in their hand. Yo, appreciate to get the sub there. J card at Charizard X best. Welcome back to the pack, Charizard. It's on the crammy. What are we getting though? I don't know. This one seems like it's falling apart here for Matthias. I think they're gonna lose. <laughs> I think they're just gonna lose. Cause I think what's gonna happen, you know, Gustavo's just gonna get Clara, one hit KO, and then go like Raihan, Moltres V game over. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think Matthias is going to lose. Interesting to see if they choose to go first or second in game three, though. Maybe they can get the cycle leap off? No, they didn't go for the... Did they fail? No, they got a card there, it looks like. Maybe they're trying to get the cycle leap off, though. Yeah, Gustavo has four prize cards left, so it's hard to, like, manage the prize trade in this situation now. Yeah, maybe... I think maybe just digging for that triple tablet. Get lucky. Nope. All right. Well, I guess you can Technoblast. Yeah, trying to play for that. Got to be the Technoblast, though. See how well the Gourmandize went for Gustavo. I'm just going to assume that Gustavo is going to have the KO here. I have a kind of hard to believe that they wouldn't, but the hand could be rough, I guess. Definitely didn't want to lose that Moltres as Gustavo, probably, but... Doesn't seem like it's terrible that you did, to be honest. If you KO this is Gustavo, you kind of just win. Yeah, I think they're actually going to go with the Moltres V here. Yeah, there it is. The Moltres V. Second Leap would have still left up more options for Mateus for sure. Definitely should have tried to go with that Second Leap. You'll appreciate the two months there, Panda Boss. So maybe Psychic Leap Sabo was better than KO the Moltres, but then the boss play is, is open from Gustavo, so maybe not. There's the Raihan. Still fighting. I'm going to go get your card. Almost forgot there. See what they end up grabbing. Needs another energy for turn. They excelled one with Raihan, can excel one with the ability, and now they need to attach one for turn, so that might be the grab. Looks like it is. Double down, accelerate energy. Uh, Drizzle should be coming back down. Yep. Oh, they're debating which Sobbles are. <laughs> which Sobble can be evolved here. I think just one of them can't be evolved. So as long as they just uh, all of them don't get evolved, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, here for Gustavo. I think they're just not allowed to evolve one of their Sobbles. KO. So Mateus can get the, the response KO, but it's going to be over after that. Anyways, it uh, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> yeah, huge hand. A little bit awkward. Cram on top. Looks pretty good. Cram our Ultra Ball. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna matter. Like you're gonna get the knockout, then you're just gonna lose on the next turn. I don't think there's like a play here for Teus to uh, stop Gustavo, unless Gustavo just doesn't have it. But Gustavo has like e level ball, evolution, incense, like so many things in the in the deck. So 
What about using the pumpkin? Now draw one card, but it is the Ultra Ball, so pretty good card. All for the VMAX. And just draw again, Techno Blast, and then has the Scoop of Net to reset the Mew um, on the next turn. Still, I think they're out of switch cards. Maybe so. No, there's a switch card prize, but I don't think. And they actually will be. Mm, they might be drawing off this prize card. But yeah, just draw three. Ultra ball, probably. I didn't see. I don't remember what's in the hand. Ultra ball or quick ball is probably the, the take here. I don't think there's a cram target in the hand. Let your do baby mall KO from Gusavo. Pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. Definitely pretty good. Go. Oh. Probably could just chill here to be honest. Boom, techno blast. Okay, Gustavo should have the win here. Even still has a Sobble setup as a pivot as well. If they run out of time, they cancel the tournament. They shut it all down. There's a Moltres. Gustavo, Gustavo just has to remember to not to evolve the active Sobble. That's like the only thing I could, the only way I could see Gustavo messing this up at this point. The energy search plus Clara should do it. There's the Clara. Or escape rope plus energy, I guess. No Clara. And Clara would have done it as well, right? Energy retrieval. I said the same thing. There's the concede from Mateus. All right, here we go. Game three, plenty of time left. Time is not going to be a constraint at all, I don't think. Yeah, plenty of time left, not going to be a constraint at all. I'm going to be interested to see if Mateus chooses to go first or second. Uh, Gustavo chose to go first. Um in game two there. I don't know who won the coin flip and chose first or second in game one. I'm interested to see if uh, Mateus uh, uses first or second. Go, let's get it. Predict water versus Pedro finals. What double urge, bro? That's gonna be so unfun. Actually, it could be pretty cool to be honest. Depends on how it how it goes. All right, I just want to know who who what uh, what Mateus chose for a second. I'm I'm curious. Mulligan. Okay, that's not good, especially if you chose to go second. Away on the prize cards, apparently. I don't know why they don't let them like lay out the prize cards and then just like cam over to them before the game starts when they're laid out. Like I don't think you need to. Um, I don't think you need to like make them wait to lay them out at a certain time. I don't know. It's a little bit unnecessary. see them lay them out if we just like pan over to them okay way better prizes for Mateus this time around yeah escape rope being prized for Gustavo probably not gonna be a huge deal but I guess that's like the one thing I see that could be a little bit annoying it looks like it, Mateus did choose to go second it looks like Gustavo does have some quick balls or something in the hand though 
Mateus is trying to get aggressive. Yeah, there's a quick ball. Open to Sabo. Has dude, if they if but if <laughs> Gustavo has Snorlax double Sabo start again, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good uh pretty good choice to have that start to be honest. Checking the prize cards. Yeah, nothing super important was prized on either side. So no prize shenanigans, thankfully, in this last game. Looks like it does not have double Sabo, but this does have the Snorlax. Does have the Lax, has the net reset. Lax for a couple. So the KO on a lone Sabo is huge. KO on lone Sabo is huge. If Mateus can find their one of escape rope knockout again. Oh, has a good start for it too. I didn't see everything, but looking juicy. Ooh, now has a good target for the Kramatic as well. Definitely need to start with the Kramatic though. Needs to stop playing cards and just, you know, cram first. See what you got. Ooh, think about keeping the tablet. No, you, you always get rid of the tablet here. You always get rid of the tablet. No, you never, you never get rid of the phone. You always get rid of the tablet. I don't know what holding tablet is ever going to do for him. Over the option of phone. Phone is way better here with Genesec for one. Heads. But see, here, here is where, this is where Mateus messed up again. You could grab escape rope here. But Mateus has already benched. So now Mateus loses their retreating again. So another mess up by Mateus. Not a huge deal, but definitely a mistake. The setup really well here. Next thing Mateus do should, it should be to check the Rotom phone though, for sure. You want to check Rotom phone immediately here after this. Like you take this card and you check your Rotom phone. Hit it up and be like, what do we got? No, stop. Got to check the Rotom phone first. Now, see, oh no. No, this is fine. It's fine. No, this is not fine actually. Cause if there's a DTE here, uh, there's a fusion strike energy. Yeah, Mateus is constantly never getting punished. Um, it's not a huge deal because if that was a DTE, you actually can't knock out Sabo with Mew guaranteed. Um, yeah, Mateus is constantly never getting punished here. I would like to have seen a punish here. I'm not gonna lie. Because <clears throat> if that was a DTE, Psychic Leap does not KO this Sabo, so that's why you check that first because then you can attack with the uh, the Meloetta instead. instead. Has a boss follow up after this as well. Dude, if, if Gustavo with zero shady dealings has the Moltres choice band play, I'm going to lose it. If Gustavo, dude, he's got the, he's got the Sonya. I see the Sonya in there. Um, all right. Got the psychic leap here. Goodbye, Sable. If Gustavo has the choice belt play this turn, I'm done. Mellow it off the prize cards. Not too bad, to be honest. It's like kind of fine because you can draw more cards to Genesec now, but you would have definitely preferred the no shots. Yo, you guys think Kuzava has it? No way. All right, two Sabos lined up. Never mind. Double Sable. I mean, it's fine. Everyone misplays. I'm just here talking about the plays. I have nothing against Matthias. They can win, they can lose. You're still like, it's, I'm just here to talk about the misplays or talk about the plays in general. Like I talk, when I think there's like a a good player or a play dance, I didn't see either. I always like talk about that too. I just talk about the plays. Good, bad, other level ball as well. Should be Sabi maybe coming up. Yeah, triple Sable, probably just another Snorlax draw. Got a boss in the hand from Mateus. So you can boss KO another Sable. You just want to keep taking those options out of play, I think. If we want to get to a Mew VMAX this turn, this is a turn where you really want to Mew VMAX. Um, yeah, so boss KO the Sabo with the Rapid Strike energy and try and KO it on this next turn. Edge Mellow, what up? Boss it up. Give me that sucker. Any for three. Oof. Uh, cram heads, please. <laughs> please. The hand is ugly. How are we looking? Oof. That was close. You want a VMAX, but you also want a... You might just... I, I think you can settle for VMAX here as Mateus. You don't need anything else besides a VMAX this turn, to be honest. I think you can settle for that. It doesn't feel great. Another Genesect would... Another Genesect into Mew VMAX feels a lot better. Um, That's fine.
Storm phone at the end of turn. There's a tablet on top. Interesting. I'm not sure what. I'm not, I don't think there's a point of playing Rotom Phone there instead of just playing it before your next Genesect, right? I guess you can get a quick ball and ultra ball and then draw more with your next gen effect, but I'd rather I guess that's fine to be honest to do it right now. That's fine. I don't hate it for the position you're in, actually. I'm fine with that. I they'd probably do the same. Boom. Melodious. Next one you want to see we want to see a psychic leap from Mateus. You want to see the psychic leap. I think that was a roast tower off the prize card, which is actually pretty good here. You do not want to bench Oracorio. Oh, benching Oracorio is not no, you don't want to bench Oracorio here. Benching Oracorio here is really bad. Um, you want to see the psychic leap though here. This is where you want to psychic leap into. You do a Genesect depends on the board state, but usually you want to psychic leap into a one prize Pokemon. And usually like buy Boss Cave and a Sobler or Josiah. Um, we could see the Raihan play though here from Gustavo though and KO this Mew V Max, which would make things really bad for Mateus. And that's why the Mew, the uh, Moltres V is so good. I think the Moltres V is so good. Goes for a scoop up net. Jeesh. I don't see how that ever leads to a good play here for Gustavo. Oh, has the, the, the retreat here. It looks like they probably had the... Could Gustavo not get to the play there? The Raihan play? Maybe he didn't want to? Because then Mateus can go knock out... Maybe Gustavo didn't want to do the Maltrace V play. Actually, maybe it's reasonable to choose not to do it. Gonna chain chain Maltrace is here. Yeah, this is where you want to Psychic Leap as Mateus. Psychic Leap KO this Maltrace into send up a, uh, a Meloetta with nothing on it. It's pretty good here. You can even just set up the prize trade from here with that, to be honest. Yeah, here comes the swing. Maybe they, um, they played Avery. Oh, did I miss the Avery? I must have missed the AB. So a big hit, but can it all be taken away here? Oh, there's a tablet top deck already. So that's a really good top deck here to set up the cycle leap. Needs two tablets. You can cycle leap KO the Maltrace. There's a switch. There's an Ultra Ball, though. I think you just Ultra Ball away that hand. Because they use uh, Melodious Echo last turn. So go get another Genesect. Could just grab a Mew V, to be honest. But I think you probably favor the Genesect here. Because the chance you're drawing into a movie is really high, but you got to find that tablet. It's like the... That's the harder thing to draw here is the tablet. Definitely want to KO this Maltrace so they can't do any boss shenanigan plays on their turn. Genesect, yeah. So plus one tablet here. Tablet plus a Mew. Psychic Leap into the Meloetta with no energy on it. And then you're kind of cruising from there. Yeah, start with the first five. Tablet and Mu V. That's what we're looking for here. There's a Mu V. Ooh, that is ugly. Whoa. Has the boss. But you don't want a boss. You want to kill the active here, I think, for sure. Hasn't attached yet. Nice. So could boss psychic leap KO Drizzile? Uh at the very least, I guess. But I think you, you definitely want to psychic leap KO the active here. For sure. Is there another tablet to be found? Let's find out. Three. No, no tablet to be found. Gonna have to be a boss psychic leap on a Drizzile. No, actually. Wait, maybe this is better, actually. I think I actually do like this better from Mateus. Take the KO. The chance of your Mew getting boss KO'd is like none. This actually makes way more sense. Yeah, you KO this like this. Your Mew doesn't get boss KO'd. Um, and then next turn, you boss Psychic Leap. But it gets harder and harder to Psychic Leap if Gustavo doesn't, like, bench anything, to be honest. Because um, your Mew's not going to get boss, boss KO'd here. So this is actually better, I think. Actually, no, you, you could get boss KO'd here because Gustavo does play the energy retrieval. It actually is possible. Gustavo actually plays energy retrieval, so it could get boss KO'd here, to be honest. We'll see. 
Oh, yep. Just thought I was going to go for the boss. <laughs> Thinking about it anyways. Energy surge towards boss. Eyeing those up. Thinking about it. Definitely thinking about it. The second lead play still might have been better, to be honest. Um, the second lead play might have still been better. Because, yeah, the ball... Because you do know... Uh, you do know they play energy retrieval. If you don't, if you know they don't play energy retrieval, you're not as scared of getting KO'd, but... Yeah, they have to look for the second leap next turn, which is another thing that Gustavo can try and limit. Like, if Gustavo can net... Uh, net pick up this uh, Inteleon and then evolve to Inteleon and not put down a Sobble. You don't really have a ton of Psychic Leap outs. Quick ball to Cheryl. I think we are going to see the boss play here from Gustavo. Get rid of it before it can uh, dip. And then Gustavo down to three prizes and Mateus will be down to three prizes as well. But Mateus is kind of running out of attacking options by uh, besides attacking with a VMAX Pokemon. So this is getting awkward for sure. We'll also see if Gustavo can actually avoid putting uh, a Sobble in play here or not. Because maybe Gustavo has to just put a Sobble in play. It looks like it. I mean, it's going to be the boss KO here. So maybe he still should have gone with the Psychic Leap, to be honest. I don't know. Still could have. Gustavo still would have bossed on this turn, I guess. KO your MUV. But then you go into the Meloetas from there, and maybe you can just take control from there, to be honest. As Mateus. I don't... I don't know. Mateus, maybe she should have gone with the uh, the boss psychic lead play, to be honest. It's, it's, hard. it's a tough call. Like, in this situation, this looks bad. And you know that Gustavo plays the energy retrieval at this point, I'm pretty sure. So... I don't know. Definitely a tough call to make on Mateus' side. I like I like both plays. I don't know which one's better. One of them definitely is, but... Alright, three prize cards for Gustavo. What is Mateus going to do here now? Probably, I mean, you have to kind of attack with Meloetta. Lock themselves out of... Yeah, they lock themselves out of... Uh, We should have played that sparkle though, right? Do they have a fusion strike energy left? They do. They should have played that sparkle for turn. I think this is a mistake from uh, Mateus. Not playing the Elsa sparkle here. Like you had a fusion strike energy in the deck. I think that's what you're trying to get into play here to make this Meloetta knock out the active here. Which for the Mewfie Max, it's probably pretty safe to evolve the Mewfie Max to be honest. Now that the energy retrieval is gone, I don't think Gustavo has to Clara for turn. This does mean though, that if you put the Mewfie Max in play, no, I guess it doesn't really change too. You can't like boss KO uh, like a Sobble instead. Mateus could go boss KO. Uh, I think you want to get rid of this Moltres though. I think you want to get rid of this Moltres. Yeah, it was definitely a mistake to not just play the Elsa Sparkle there though, I'm pretty sure. Like, that was definitely a mistake here from... That could be actually a really big mistake here from uh, Mateus. That could be a huge mistake. If they can't get a KO this turn with uh, the Meloetta now, that actually is just really awkward. You don't have Muse on the field left? That's fine. You don't need Muse on the field left, Yoshi. You just attack with Meloetta. You just sparkle to your, both your Meloettas then. You have, you have, you'd be able to sparkle with two Fusion Strike energy in your deck. You do not care about having a Mew in play at all. You just bench another Mew V that turn. Net, put down, draw two more. Yeah, I guess at least they have the boss KO Sobble play, but that play does not feel that great, to be honest. I think you wanted to KO the active there. I think you wanted to KO active there for sure, because if, if Mateus preferred the boss KO Sobble play, they would have played the boss before they were drawing cards with Genesect, right? Now you have to go for that, though. It doesn't feel terrible, though. It definitely doesn't feel terrible here. It doesn't feel great, though, I don't think. Yeah, if Mateus was able to pull off the second leap with the double tablet two turns ago, that would have been huge. All right, here comes a Clara. The Clara from uh, Gustavo. How many dark energies do they have in the hand here? 
Gustavo might be able to set up checkmate here. Ultras comes down with two energy. There's the concede from Mateus. There's the checkmate from Gustavo. 